Unboxing your phone meant more than just an announcement. This is actually a full new approach to smartphone design. Reporting from the Lincoln Center in New York City, I am Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and this is the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, brought to you by Dbrand. The Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is pretty much the larger variant of two new devices announced today. As opposed to what other competitors are doing, it doesn't really imply that you're actually getting more features if you go large, but really just the fact that you're getting more screen real estate in addition to a larger battery. This is not just any screen though. Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus includes an insane 6.2 inch Quad HD Plus AMOLED display at 2960 by 1440. If you did the math, that's 529 pixels per inch, and we're talking more than 80% screen to body ratio. Samsung has pretty much eliminated the bezels on the sides and has reduced the top and the bottom significantly. So even if you're holding a display that's larger than your standard phablet, it's pretty much size this one. Surrounding the display is a gorgeous glass on glass finish that's available in five color options. This is actually the Orchid Gray, and I'm shocked at how well it handles fingerprints. Internally, there are the options for a Snapdragon 835 processor or the Exynos Series 98895 processor, both of 10 nanometer architecture. You also get 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage that's expandable, and a 3500 milliamp hour battery. It's IP68 water and dust resistant, and it includes the usual tricks like wireless charging, and the new kick of being the first smartphone with Bluetooth 5 compatibility. Some things got moved around with the design though. The navigation buttons are gone. Now with a pressure sensitive home button that's software based. The fingerprint scanner is at the back in the most awkward of places, but we know the benefit of the iris scanner, which is also here in addition to facial recognition. Now bear in mind, it's got the craziest list of disclaimers when it comes to its accuracy. So I would probably just stick to the iris scanner, which we proved was great with the Galaxy Note 7. You will notice a new button at the left, which is for Samsung's Bixby service. This is the company's new artificial intelligence that's context aware. The voice service sadly doesn't work here yet because this is pre-production software, but the visual user interface suggests things depending on your average day or what's on your screen and more. Slide to the left and you activate the cards, which are pretty much like what you remember with Google Now. Oh, and speaking of Google, if Bixby is not your thing, the Google Assistant is here with a long press of the home button. Software-wise, we have Android 7.0 Nougat under the company's Experience UX. Samsung has tried to make it more cohesive with the design, and we like that it keeps the minimalistic trend that began last year. I was also very impressed to see Samsung's new DeX Hub which now allows you to turn your smartphone into a computer of some sort, with an interface that's actually designed to provide a full desktop experience. Now, if you were expecting better cameras or dual cameras, that's not here. That's where the Plus doesn't really take that step, in my opinion. The camera is actually more a lateral move to what Samsung had last year, and the company claims to have improved image processing, but under the same hardware as last year, at least from what we see in paper. The selfie camera did get a bump to 8 megapixels, and now it does have improvements to autofocus. Overall, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is a very impressive phone, and this Plus variant is too. Both phones are gorgeous, and I'm just really not happy with the fact that this Plus variant doesn't include Plus features, but then again, it does offer the option if you're just looking for a larger Galaxy S8. We cannot wait to have both of these phones in the pocket now last for a review closer to its launch on April 21st. Did you know that humans are born with only two innate fears? The fear of falling and the fear of loud sounds. Every other fear is developed over time. We'd like to thank our sponsor Dbrand for reminding us that if you're afraid of thick bezels, you definitely were not born with it. This bizarre ad and our Samsung Unpacked event coverage is brought to you by Dbrand. Check them out in the link below. And while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.